Hey everybody, it's Hi. Rhino. Greg. And we are here at Disney's Riviera Resort. Yes. And we are here to try out Far Riva. We're gonna uh, try one of the signature cocktails, I think, just to see what that's all about. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. We're the see. drinkers, that's what we do. Yeah, well, yeah, we literally are at this point. No one else really drinks that works for us, so. It was a joke before, but now it's a reality. Yeah, so, so let's go in. Bar Riva, what do I say about Bar Riva? Well, we just sat down here in Bar Riva and wasn't a surprise looking at it from the outside that, well, it's just an open air pool bar essentially, which kind of caught me off guard because, you know, granted, I didn't know going into this that it was gonna be like the open air pool, pool bar, but uh, it's so I'm not I'm, you know what I'm fine with it it's a nice day right now so it's we're in the shade I can't can't really complain with that the big surprise with this was it's not just cocktails there's also food here too and it, it shares a very similar menu to to what's actually next door in the uh, the prime patio restaurant and and there's a lot of the same stuff, but then there's a couple little different things. Like over in the prime patio, there was the, the croque monsieur that you might see me eat in another video. But here, they have a Monte Cristo. Mm. And then there's some bar favorites like chicken wings and shrimp pasta and baked brie. So, very interesting. We ordered one thing because we just ate. Otherwise, we would have put more time in between the two so we could have, you know, digested a little bit more. But we ordered a couple cocktails, ordered a food item, and I'm so glad you can come on this journey with us. Mm. I went with Le Bourbon Bruise, um, which is Jim Bean Black Extra Age Bourbon, Cranberry, Lime, Pomegranate, and Ginger Beer. Um, and this came out pretty... I don't know what color you call that. Pink? Well, it's kind of weird because with the sun shining through right now on this video, it looks orange and white. Strawberry. Mmm. It's pretty good. It actually tastes a little different than what I expected, I guess. Um, I was kind of thinking this was just similar to a mule, but I think like the, the bourbon... Um, I'm a, you know, I'm a sucker for anything cranberry flavored and cranberry lime I feel like is a perfect combination of things but the pomegranate and the ginger beer with the bourbon is making like a it's like almost tart like it it, it could it teeters it could go either way like it's kind of tart but then I, I can taste the bourbon in this so it's it's interesting mm. I, I'm not, I'm not completely sold on it, but um, that is $15. I don't think I could have like more than one because I think maybe it's going to end up being too tart where like it hurts my throat a little bit, but we'll see when I get to the end of this. But Craig, I think your Le Fleur is ready to bloom and be a drink, so why don't you give you a sip? Well, Rhino slightly referenced to what I we got on the menu and uh, you know the, the menu is made up of uh, cocktails some that are definitely Riviera inspired I think mine would be one of them but uh, you know there's there's lots on here from a Negroni spritz to an Aperol spritz to a one that's aptly called Riviera spiked iced tea that's spritz again. clearly clearly the Riviera spiked iced tea what makes is, it different it's a Long Island iced tea I'm pretty it's sure the name <laughs> with Grey Goose oh. with Grey Goose oh. Uh, there's also sangria, uh, frozen cocktails, wine, beer, cider, you know, everything you would expect at a bar. Uh, I, and again, moving back to it, Rhino referenced mine. I got Le Petit Fleur, so I believe that would translate to the small flower, which, uh, it's, I am the he small was flower. He was embarrassed yeah. to order it. I was very embarrassed to order it because it is, like, it is the most feminine of cocktails, but you know what? I'm owning it. I'm owning my drink right now. Uh, and the Le Petit Fleur is $14. It is made with Chirac, vodka, Lele Blanc, chamomile tea, lemon, and soda water. And it got me excited. Like, I, I'm like one of those people that I, every now and then, I want, I want a clear drink, even if it's mixed drink, you know, just like vodka, soda, you know, it's, uh, for me, I was like, oh, on the menu here, it looks very clear. So this should be right up my alley, but mine is 
yellow. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So uh, either there's a lot of lemon in there, or I don't know what. But I was gonna say, what's yellow? Maybe the tea. I don't know, but it's delicious. Uh, the soda water adds that nice little bit of effervescence to it. Uh, very lemony and chamomile-y right up front. Is that a word? Chamomile? -y? I'm making it a word. Uh, and then the, the liquor really is just, you know, it, it's there, but it's not overpowering. I'm really getting a lot of chamomile and, and lemon up front. And, oh, it's nice. I'm going to enjoy drinking this, but... Yeah, yeah, I will. All right, so we did get uh, a little bit of a, a food item, the grilled chicken um, wings. Uh, That's where you struggled? Yeah, the I know. Grilled the chicken. Um, I, the, because right above it on the menu is the sandwich, and I'm like, this isn't a sandwich. It's got bone in it. So, um, so we got the grilled chicken wings, which are roasted garlic and lemon herb butter sauce. I do love, uh, do love garlic. Um, I don't love meat on the bone, but you know, I'm just, I, I was coerced. He so. said, in this case, ET bone home. ET bone home. <laughs> I'm not understanding. The chicken is, I think it's pretty well cooked. Um, it, I mean, it's good. It's I taste mostly the lemon, not a lot of the garlic is the only thing. So I feel a little sad because I'm obsessed with garlic, um, like unhealthily obsessed. But um, but there there is you definitely taste that lemon or butter sauce. Um, you get what what are what do four of these? Um, for $13.99, so it's a little bit of a toss-up, but each one of the four wings, you know, you break apart. Craig just taught me this about breaking apart the wing in half, and it's the drumstick and the, the I don't know what part of the body that is, so. Yes. The wing. I am an idiot. So, um, I'm gonna let him try this while they're still nice and warm, instead of you listening to me ramble on. Blah, 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 blah. As the resident expert of wings here at the Diz, I feel like this dish has just been waiting for me. And everyone keeps saying it's like the best thing that's here. So. It's got a little spice, like, lingering. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're absolutely right, Rhino. I, I feel bad. Because you're not going to hear me talk a lot. I'll still try, but you're not going to hear me talk that much because I, you pretty much nailed it. This is very lemon straightforward. The chicken is cooked perfectly. I mean, the outside has, it, you can taste the grill. You can yeah. see the grill marks on there, and you can taste the char, which I really like that. It helps cut down on that lemon flavor a little bit. Garlic is pretty non-existent in it. <laughs> Just me. I thought maybe I just wasn't tasting a lot of it. No. It's not really there, but you know, nice meaty wings. Really cooked nicely. A little messy, but not like too terribly messy. Like not wings that you feel like, like oh barbecue. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need 16 wet naps to get through this. But very interesting. Very interesting. So I'm gonna really take my time with this one, think about it. You know, eat it with my drink, drink it with my eats, mm. something like that. Mm. But we'll sit here, we'll unpack this, and then we'll uh, we'll catch up with you after we're finished and let you know our final thoughts. Bariva. We're done. Yes. Okay. I, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought the wings actually. The more we sat with them there. I, I enjoyed them. I still wish there was a little bit more garlic than lemon, yeah. but they were very tasty. It was better than what I had from the quick service restaurant yeah. here. So even though I think it's just that shared, some of the menu items are shared, might, they might share a kitchen for that. I, I, I'd be more likely to come back here and sit at the bar and get something to eat. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I would completely agree with that assessment. I feel like this had, um, you know, like we said, I had the one or two different choices here, um, but uh, this was definitely, yeah, I don't know. The, the tough part is this is a straight pull bar. And yeah. well, it's even like the tile work and everything is kind of, it's, you know, white and blue and it makes, you know, 
looks like water and because yeah. it's outside of the pool and so it is very much i feel like i'm kind of in the area where like you would hose off after being in a pool yeah i know that's gross and weird or whatever but it's an elevated pool bar yeah it's i like that it's undercover i like that you can so if it rains you know you're not going to get soaked by being down here really or anything like that so yeah i enjoyed my drink i wouldn't have more than one though it wasn't like one of those drinks that like oh i could sit here and have it all day yeah so it's like i i think a good comparison to it is it does kind of have that same vibe and the same idea is as uh, geyser point over at wilderness lodge but it's not on the same level no no point. no because yeah i think geyser point was like a great because geyser point's got its like location working for it really well whereas this is kind of like it feels like this could borderline be an afterthought yeah it's definitely for people who are staying here and going to enjoy the pool and the resort yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but it is not a destination like i need to come over here like like so many other great uh great bars around property like i almost feel like this is the equivalent of like the gurgling <laughs> you know what i'm talking about i don't think i that, do the the one at old key west that people lose oh, their minds um, about that like, the closet it's like a closet it's, yeah but it's the gurgling suitcase or something like that it's the, the piano guy on the logo you know i i don't remember what it's called picked up a shirt from pete's house the other day and was like this shirt is so wrinkled and it was that logo on there. Regardless, uh, that's like one of those places people like, oh, we love Olivia's and then we go and have a drink there. I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah, I it don't is, get it, yeah. It is a closet and it's just normal drinks. But I feel like people who own here will feel the same sort of sentimentality about it as they do like that one but uh yeah it's just there's no reason for me to come over here to no yeah but if you are staying here and like what craig said if you're at the pool i think it's a great place where you're like i'm feeling a little like uh let's grab lunch but we don't really want to leave the pool yet like yeah. pop in here and have something and I, I will give it at least it's got a bunch of uh kind of unique uh tries on drinks yeah. you know spins on drinks yeah. in here so and uh there was that. Plenty of charging ports all throughout. Oh yes, so, yeah. That's an interesting. All along the bottom of the seats against yeah. the wall had them. So yeah, that was as well cool. as on the bar too. So yeah. if you need to work, and I'm not. So they had USB chargers. They had your regular three prong ones too. So you can get come Put here, your laptop. Yeah, laptop. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's our assessment on. Uh, you got to say it the way you say it. I forget what their name is. It's Bar Riva. Yeah. Bar Arriva. Da, 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 da. Surpri- I think we're Arriva. like in Italy and France here. I don't know that. Yeah. Tequila. I see what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Get out your Pee Wee Herman shoes and let us know what you think. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, we're going to go along with our day and keep exploring this uh, brand new resort here at Disney's Riviera Resort. And, uh, you know, let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you've got anything to say about this, we'd love to hear it. So. Okay. What are you doing? Why are you making that weird face? <laughs> There's water guns over in the kids' play area in this. Oh, this one girl is shooting her dad, dad in the stomach, and, and she's got a nice big beer belly like me. So it's just. Funny. It is actually hilarious <laughs> when you see it. I'm not going to turn it around and yeah. show everybody, but it is because he's like loving it too. So it's so funny. But anyway, that's that. You get great views here. So. <laughs> okay. We'll see you next time. Bye.